Alright, so recently I just purchased this uh, 80 gigabyte PS3 off eBay, listed as uh, for parts or repair. It's a um, 80 gigabyte, and uh, the model number back here is CECH C -E -C -H -E -O one So it's backwards compatible. Um, and uh, it was said to have a bad Blu ray drive, so I'm just going to start testing this thing for just basic stuff then open it up and see what's wrong alright so I've got it all hooked up, we got a controller hooked up with a USB cable so that it uh, can sync to the system and uh, power in, AV in, and then just hooked up this little TV for testing purposes so let's see if it get, gets uh, power first it's got power so now it's uh, I'm going to turn the TV and then see if it works, I'm going to hold the power button down twice just to make sure it sends AV signal to reset any settings so turns on that's nice to know. So now it's back to AV, and uh, it um, it uh, the fan sounds pretty like you know not so loud. So that's always good. Not overheating or anything. So there it goes. Let's turn it on. Well, that's good to know. All right. So let's see. First thing I'm gonna check is what uh what firmware it's on. See this system settings. So it's on 4.31. So it said it had a bad disk, uh, some disk problem. So let's see what happens. So it goes in. Now it's not reading it. You can tell because it's not showing up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have an extra Blu-ray drive for this model PS3 right here. So instead of just buying a whole new laser, I'm just gonna try putting a new Blu-ray drive and switching out the uh, the Logic board on the. Blu-ray, so let's see if it works after that. So, anyways, taking that drive out. First thing, so the, the Blu-ray drive is good, but looks like the person who had opened this, somebody tried to fix it before, I guess, and that thing is, that clip right there. It uh, got the little edge broke. I've broken one of those before myself, but anyways, I just kind of shoved it in, like, uh, clamped it down, and now it's sitting fine. It's all, like, clamped in. It looks like they taped it up, so... Maybe that thing just wasn't connected to the motherboard, or uh, who knows, but like, I'm going to put a, now that I've got it pushed down properly, I'm going to reconnect it and see what, if it uh, fixes anything. Because it spins, it's around, the, the disc spins when you put it in, so I know the laser's good. Should be, at least. So there's still nothing here, though. So, could possibly be the laser, because actually that light isn't blinking, the blue light. And normally what I've seen is those blink when it's trying to read. So... We'll check that out. The, we'll switch out the Blu-ray drive with a good one that I know works. So now what I'm going to do is this uh, PS3 that I did a fan mod to. Uh, the fan mod I made, here's a little closer look actually under it. Anyway, if you're just wondering about that. But uh, anyways, this thing keeps getting the uh, just overheating problems and gets the a lot of death. And it's not really worth fixing now, so I'm just going to scrap it for parts. So we're going to test this Blu-ray drive out right here. This is the good Blu-ray right here from this PS3, um, which i got to swap i got to put that logic board from that one, this PS3, onto this Blu-ray. So I've got that uh, logic board from that bad, uh, or what I think is bad, uh, Blu-ray drive, but the good one. So now I just got to mount this on, and it'll be good. Alright, so the uh, drive is in with the motherboard, or the logic board on. So now uh, I can plug that power thing back in. It's all hooked up, so I'm going to test it out one more time, see if this does anything. Alright, so working fine. No, not, don't know why it wouldn't. But uh, let's see this. Let me get this out of the way. Little parts, but okay. So let's see if this does anything. Here, let me get that game. Alright, so let's hopefully inserts and all that's fine. Yep, it's going in. There we go. Sweet. So, so hopefully it reads everything. Because I know this Blu-ray drive works. <laughs> Actually, this Blu-ray drive is like, oh my gosh, that thing, I, it took me like an hour to get that thing. Because I took all scrap parts and made a good one out of all scrap parts. I had like one good laser, like all different parts from the, uh, the, um, like the ejecting, you know, like gears and all that. So I had to, this took like an hour to make this drive, but it works great. So you can see it's reading the game. 
So yeah, that PS3 is fixed. A little bit ghetto <laughs> because like you got the you got the tape and everything like holding it on. But even in this PS3, here's the one I actually have done it myself. I've broken those things before, which sucks, but I mean it makes it work. And this one's also backwards compatible, which is nice. So I don't really know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with it. But yeah. Alright, so uh, one thing I just noticed is the person who probably tried fixing it before they left out a screw there, so I just off that other PS3 I'm scrapping for parts. Um just gonna swap in a little screw and then tighten this thing up and it should be There we go. So now that's all this uh card reader for like S D cards and all that stuff is uh, secured up. Alright, so now that cover's on. So put all these screws back in. Ones are in. Uh, Alright, I just got the uh, the top cover back on and now it's all uh, fixed up basically.